Good evening. This is the story of a rock. This rock, said to have been discovered by a young man, Kevin Morse, who goes by the moniker of Kin Panama, a young person who is not familiar with this sort of thing. He is a bit of a puzzle and doesn't seem to be the type to create such an elaborate hoax. His entire YouTube and TikTok channels, in fact, are boring as hell, with no indication that he's skilled in AI, video effects, acting, or storytelling. As a matter of fact, he's a nature guy who loves his dog and family. He also loves to travel, many times to Asia and beyond, wherever the airline he works for takes him. So this rock is said by many to be a meteorite that fell from space. The rock was found in a hole. If it was a meteorite, however, it would have come in lightning fast and not only make a substantially larger hole, but actually bury itself. So I am assuming he dug a hole, made a fake fire with lighter fluid after tossing in an ordinary rock. Maybe he just torched the whole area and pushed it around with a shovel before deciding to video it. Just a guess. So first the rock looks like a potato and then the rock looks like it was spray painted with a silver color for effect. But a rock it is. Moving on, however, let's question the leaf on the rock segment. It's interesting, but could be done easily enough. More than likely, the rock was heated in an oven until it became so hot as to burn the leaf. Then he picks it up, and surprise, surprise, he doesn't get burned. Well, you may have noticed that the scene cuts after the leaf burns, right here. I think he then allowed it to cool, and then when he began to record again, he could then pick it up. Now, the thing in the safe is interesting, but not at all convincing to me. All a person would have to do is take an inflated bag and use spray foam all over it to make the twisted shapes and even mold some larger tentacles by hand using the same stuff. Then cut it in sections, spray paint it as needed, and then apply some oil to make it all shiny. Then having the balloon inside and using a thin tube out of the back, simply blow in and let the air out as often as needed to create the effect. The same also goes for the smaller version, the air tube now coming up behind and probably up through the screen. But now comes the tough one, the thing growing from the rock and the tentacles. At one point it looks like sprayed gummy worms. I saw where he handles one and twists it, causing it to spring back in place. Then it doesn't move at all after that. But the small tentacles whipping around was a puzzler. Filmmaker Mark Lee revealed how he believes Ken was able to make it seem like the supposed alien tentacles were moving, saying that they are likely a clever prop made of PDMS, a silicone polymer. He noted that PDMS reacts to hexane, a common solvent, that when applied causes the polymer to swell. As the hexane evaporates, however, parts of the material shrinks back at different times, creating a snapping movement in the polymer shapes. Another explanation would be that this movement could be caused when the polymer has expanded to the point of failure, at which time it bursts out in all directions. But many say that it's just AI or CGI. Yes, I did check with several different apps and nothing came up. To me, it does not look CG. There should or would have been some visual signs around the creature and especially the tentacles that would show smudging or areas of saturation above what was in the background. No, I tend to agree with those that think it's just too organic. And I also think that it's alien to our world, or at least the one we all know. Now remember where this gentleman lives. Remember how he is a world traveler. As much as I hate to say this, I think that the alien is not of our world, but from the undersea world. Things like conch and sea slugs and so forth is just what he would need to make his twisted sculpture. Keep in mind that the nervous system of these creatures would allow for the appendages to still twitch after removal. Or maybe an entire immature one is simply covered up by the goopy mess Kevin applied over it. A sad thing, but... I believe that this is the case. 
a creation, half sculpture, half animal. He probably used some vegetable parts in there for visual effect. So those are my thoughts. Hope you found this interesting. I also ask that you support my channel by liking and subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching. Uh -huh.